Hey, and welcome back to cloudwords.net. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about an issue that a lot of people have contacted me via email and via, via cloudwords.net. They wanna know how they can share, and this is in regards especially to businesses, how they can share large files with uh, clients, with coworkers, with associates, inside or outside the company. Now, obviously, um, it is very hard if you are only uh, having a local storage option in your facility to do that. And obviously, um, there are a couple of cloud storage services that make life a little easier. Now, the first service that actually comes to mind uh, for basically everybody is Dropbox. And I've talked about Dropbox uh, uh, a lot in the last videos and also on cloudwords.net. It is a fantastic tool uh, for sharing files and syncing files because it, it works, but there are some risks uh, with uh, when using Dropbox with businesses because uh, one of the major issues is security and encryption. The problem is that if you're dealing with sensitive files in your business and uh, and and with and with clients as well, uh, you don't want anybody to be able to see uh, the files that you are sharing. So there are alternatives, and in this video, I'm going to show you an alternative that I use uh, in the last couple of months with my team to share larger video files um, because I happen to. Uh, be having uh, a lot of issues with security. I live in Germany. Uh, there is a lot of uh, there's a lot of data privacy issues when dealing with clients or people here when you send files over the internet. So people want to make sure that their files are secure and nobody else can read it because the problem with Dropbox is um, they technically own the encryption keys uh, for your files. And with other services and the service that I'm going to present to you in this video, um, it's a little different. So when you uh, are in CloudWords, you can scroll down and let's just find the review. I'm talking about sync.com. So sync.com is a file synchronization and storage service. You can read the review here and look if that's an option for you. But I'm just going to hop onto sync.com and show you a little bit of what we do. Now, we are working with um, with videos because we have several YouTube channels and several marketing clients that want videos from us. And now I'm just going to show you uh, a little bit of what uh, of what I do to share raw video files with uh, my video editor. So I have several uh, folders here um, inside. Now this is for my private uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I have a Spanish speaking fitness YouTube channel, but. Um, you can really do the analogous thing with other uh, folders and clients as well. Now I'm in the back end of sync.com. Uh, this runs via the web, but also you can download a, a desktop client, which I'm gonna show you just in a minute. So I upload the raw video files right here into, um, into these uh, folders. So you can see if I open the folder, these are pretty large files, one gigabyte, uh, almost a gigabyte of raw uh, video files and audio files, and then my um, my editor can download those and upload the finished video for me to uh, upload to YouTube. So um, basically what I'm doing is I'm using the client software. So sync.com works in the same way as Dropbox because you install the software and then you get a folder right here. And then you can see it mimics the folder structure that you have here on the web. So if I could just go and go back, you can see those are the same folders um, here and they mirror what you have on the desktop onto the cloud so that you can access it anywhere. And what I would just do, I would look to my on my external hard drive and then I, I move the files from my external hard drive into the raw folder because I know that's the shared folder my freelancer has access to. And we can now go and look a little bit closer at this folder. So obviously you can see that sharing folders is possible. Now, I can do several things. I can send this folder as a link so that people can um, look at the folder and download the files. Now, obviously, um, I can also say I want people to be able to upload uh, files to that folder. And the good thing is when you send a link like that, they do not need a sync.com account. So there is no friction in there. Now I can also say, okay, I want to hide the contents of the folder, but I want to up uh, and able to upload. So when you're speaking to a client, for example, and that client um, needs to send you a contract or needs to send you 
a an updated version of a CAD file uh, of a large architecture project or whatever. So they can you can enable the upload of that folder and also enable notifications so that you know when something has happened inside the folder and then would get an email. Now there's also the possibility of setting expiry date for the link, etc. So you have very, very um, sophisticated control methods of your folders. And that's what I particularly like about the sync.com and the business version. Now, you can also say, okay, um, I also want to manage uh, the uh, I, I want to I want to share that uh, folder. So I want to share the whole uh, top folder. And when you hit on manage shares, you can invite people um, to that uh, particular folder so that they can access the files. But if you invite people to the folders so that they can create other folders as well, they need a sync.com account. Um, the, they have a free version of five gigabytes um, uh, of free storage. So that is possible. Now you have several options. You can obviously disable the share and obviously also remote wipe the data so that you don't have to be worried that any sensitive information is compromised. Now, um, you can also set the permission. You have granular controls over who can see what, what they can do, if they can invite other people to the folder. So if you are managing freelancers and you are you have a team leader and you want a team leader to be able to hire research assistants for example and then you can say okay uh, I have uh, I want the team member to invite 10 other researchers into that folder so you would have to give her or him the opportunity to also invite other persons via the email address to that folder so that's um, that's pretty nice now why am I using uh, sync.com now? Obviously, I'm using also other uh, solutions um, out there. Um, but sync.com is what I'm trying out now to show you guys um, is that sync.com is pretty um, secure. They do what they call uh, or what experts call end to end encryption, because that means that once you upload a file, you own the encryption key, meaning that even in theory, if somebody would want to access your uh, files from the sync.com team, they only would see gibberish um, on their servers, they could not identify your files, even if they were forced to by government organizations or whatever. Now, the other advantage is that sync.com is not US based, they are in Canada. Um, so uh, they're, they're uh, away from the US legislation. And there are a couple of other advantages like HIPAA compliance, etc. Now, um, I, I, I don't want to sell you this solution. I just I'm just showing you what I'm doing right now with my team with my people and with my business. And this is what works pretty well at a decent price. I believe the 100 no the five no the, sorry, the two terabyte version costs uh, $100 a year. And they have a very it's a very good secure Dropbox alternative. Now, that is how you can share large files uh, via the cloud. Obviously, you can also go ahead and not share the folder, but just share the individual file. So 1.2 gigabyte, I mean, try to send <laughs> such a large file via email. I mean, that's basically impossible. Now, as I said before, if you want to know more about sync.com, visit our review at cloudwords.net sync.com. And then you can browse through and read a little bit about what uh, we think about this service and uh, maybe sign up for it. If you have any questions, I would be very happy to answer them in the comments below. Make sure to like this video. And if you would like to have more videos on cloud storage solutions for your personal and business files, please subscribe to this channel because we publish on a frequent basis videos for you to enjoy. See you in the next video. My name is Mauricio. Goodbye.